Hey everyone and we're back! My name is Miss Scarlet Tenager and I have been playing some Resident Evil 3 Remake. Now, I accidentally did it off screen as I was like running around, but this, it actually has a trigger over it. And if you click on it, Carlos says too, something like, too bad you can't kill the zombies by taking pictures of them. It's a fucking, it's a fatal frame reference. They have a fatal frame reference in my Resident Evil and I am so happy about this. But anyways... See how much of it? Yes, I keep doing the speed running thing just on Almost. reflex. The star's office is up ahead. Copy that. You know, I want to see if I can sequence break, sequence break this. Fuck it. Because the thing that you need to get is this. And I was right. Okay, so I didn't have to worry about going into there first. Okay, so this would be. These are all the codes from Resident Evil Two, and they work still. So they just reuse this area, covered the walls where some of like the explodey bits are. All that jazz. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I forgot about him. Red. Why you gotta be so rude? Thunk. However, we have a problem. I mean, that was a solution, but... See, now you see that there is light, right? This is the key to this room. We need to get in there to get a battery. There is a problem. That's the problem. this. Okay. See if I can remember what they all are. I think there's 104, 106, and 109. Okay. Don't worry, we'll get to a point where I don't know things in a- not too far from now, I think. Especially because I'm maybe sequence breaking a little bit. <laughs> Mostly because I know what I have to do. Because we are eminently going to have to blow up a wall. Mine now. Might as well take this. The papa. And the Irby. And I believe that's it since we never get the stuff to open these other ones. Alright. Where is he at? Just walk, just walk, just walk, Carlos! There's no need to run! Because we have to get to the star's office, right? And remember how there was a big old thing? Um, like broken wall and stuff? Yeah, it's not broken yet. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Because there's a note to the friend. So, I'll let you guys read this. <laughs> So yeah, it's essentially telling us that we need to get the, um, the, the, the stuff with the things and the stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Cap! Like Captain America! Not opening that one, though, because there's a zombie in it. Which is what the note says, if you pause and read it. Alright, am I ready for this? Yes, I am. All right. Y'all ready for this? Dun 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 dun. Some zombies kill them right in the face. Wow, 
Wow, I'm bad at this. <laughs> A little bit. Oh fuck. <laughs> I knew they weren't all dead. One at a time, take a number. <laughs> Carlos! Also, why were there so many dead people in this area? Okay, we done? Oh, tits. <laughs> Lady! No! Boom, yo head. There's still one in here. Okay, let's just make sure that they're all dead. Oh. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> Red. No. I love how they all kind of T-pose since they don't ragdoll anymore. Gotta use them door straps! Gotta use them door straps. Down the butthole! Straight down the butthole. Oh crap, I didn't even throw that. I meant to use the knife. Oh well. Shit happens. I've been saving lots of ammunition right now anyway. So I need to go there. Well, we might as well check the end of the hall because I don't think I did that during my last, uh... Feels like that should be a nerf. I don't think I did that during my last playthrough. Or my last, um... Screwed up recording! That's what I should say. Salt, salt, salt. There it is. Did everything? Yep, we're good. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're not. Might as well go get this little extra bit that I missed, apparently. Yoink! Hey, leaker. Good thing we cleared the way for our, uh, tea friend. Heh, <laughs> get it? Tea friend? Tea wears? His name's Ty Tyrell or something? Obviously going to die before the end of the game. Dr. Bard. Since he wasn't in the original. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. About that. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Rude! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Okay. I like him already. Yeah, you I know. like him. I like his partner, even though I'm pretty sure he's going to die before you the end. what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mikhail's call. About Mikhail. I'm gonna check the computer to see if I can trace the doc's location. Okay. This will take some time. Look around and see if you can find anything useful. Useful, huh? How about taking a bunch of things that would originally have just been there for Clara and Leon to find, but I'm taking all of them? <laughs> Okay. 
because continuity errors, I guess? Like. And another message for you guys to read. A report on Wesker's desk about the uh, mansion incident. I wonder how well that's going to go. Extremely difficult. Uh huh. Yeah, sure, Wesker. Is that Jill in the front row? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Too low poly. Mm, should I turn up the polygon or turn up my res to see if it's any better? No. I don't want to risk messing up my recording, so I won't change my graphics. Yeah, what's up? Derail. Is anyone hurt? Jill? <gasps> ah, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! Yeah. T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. <laughs> yep, he's so dead. <laughs> T is so dead. He's probably gonna be a boss, a surprise boss fight or Carlos or something. Hey, Jill, babe. shave an entire hour off of my recording time at this point. Because if I get to the if I get to the last part that I saw before my rec I realized my recording was too screwed was screwed up by the end of this video I literally would have shaved a full hour off of my time <laughs> just for knowing where to go. Jill, you fucked up. <laughs> Carlos, come in. Carlos, don't worry about it. Oh, damn it! I guess I'm out of range. It's fine. So, for any of you guys who are planning on playing this game yourself, you guys need to know this: you absolutely have to have the mine rounds for the upcoming boss fight. I'll let you guys read this real quick. The game does not tell you that you need. The, f the grenade launcher and the mine rounds. It doesn't tell you those things. So you end up... Oh, actually, I have enough to get some acid rounds. Um, you end up... screwed if you do not have the... grenade launcher... or you don't have the grenade launcher with you. You end up being completely screwed over. And it's kind of like, well, fuck. <laughs> Yes, take it out and then combine and then take the mine rounds. So yes, you actually need the grenade launcher. It is non-negotiable. And you specifically need it for mine rounds. Okay, let's take... Um... I'll take some more of these. Might as well. The only reason I haven't made stuff with all this gunpowder is because I know the high-grade gunpowder can turn into magnum rounds and I don't actually know where I get the magnum. I might have missed it, who knows, I doubt I did, but it's always a possibility. <laughs> Alright. Hi! Wait for it. Boom! The game is expecting you to test... to test this. It's expecting you to test it. <laughs> I wonder what that could be. I can't stay here. It's totally not a nemesis, is it? Oh, <gasps> gasp. 
Oh, hey, look, the clock tower, which was super important in the original game. Oh, right. I should make. I should go slow enough for you guys to actually be able to pause it to read it. <laughs> okay. So we're almost there. Essentially, this upcoming boss fight is the last part that I saw. And I might cut some of it out because that boss fight can actually be really, really freaking long. And annoying. Hi, Nem! How are you still alive? <laughs> can do that too, Nam. Bitch can't even swim. About that. How would you know he can't swim? Carlos, respond. How would you know that? Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? Dun dun da! The obvious betrayer betrayed you. I am shooketh. Hi, Nam. How you doing, Nam? And yes, I am actually sort of controlling it for part of that. Not all of it, just like a couple seconds of it. But it's like run before Nam kills you. He is giant dog Nem now. Which, thinking about it now, doesn't make a lot of sense. Because he never went dog Nem in the original game until like the end. Hi. Boom! Nope. <laughs> Hi, Nam. How you doing? Have I pissed you off yet? You can't get me, nanner, nanner, nanner. Bitch, you thought! <laughs> oh, I have no bullets left, right? Hmm. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Push it! <laughs> I thought I was running and I wasn't. Nope. Reload. Nope. Come at me. Rude. Alright, then he gets angry, I think. Is he still? Okay, he's not. Cool. So let me pull this out. And he does that. Come on, reload. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do it with the mine rounds. Damn it! <laughs> uh, that's not gonna help. I need mine rounds. Oh shit! Hi. Red. Get up, Jill, babe. Okay. What I need. Is some mine rounds. No. No. Come on, I know there's mine rounds around here somewhere. Please? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh wait, are there some in here? No. Ah! 
Ow! Rude. Okay, I can't do anything with this. I don't want a shotgun ramp, though. Okay, so I gotta wait for him to knock some of the doors open so I can actually get... So eventually he'll start knocking some of these open and then I can get some freaking mine rounds out of him. Because you need mine rounds! You can't knock him down otherwise! It's the- it's silly! It's requiring you to have a weapon that you may not have at the time. Alright, he, he unlocked some from one of the doors now. We can keep going. And BOOM! Alright. Might as well- might as well wait till his weak point's exposed. Nope, let me alone. And then he goes running around back up there, and you uh, knock him there. Wait for just a uno momento. Aw, tits. <laughs> Alright, we got two more mine runs left. Come at me! <laughs> Fuck you up. Don't throw a temper tantrum about it, Nem. There's no point in doing that! Don't throw a temper tantrum, I'm sure everything will be completely and utterly fine. Okay, we only got one mine round left. We gotta make it count. Me alone. Okay. Boom! <laughs> Is he dead yet? Tits. Cause I'm out of mine rounds. <laughs> Red. So he's running across there. How do I kill this thing? Magic. Seeing as I think I've run out of freaking mine rounds. Oh, no, we've got some still. Cool. What? Oh, he's up there now. Can I? <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work. Nope. Don't hurt me. Get into the bushes! Get into the bushes! Hide into the bushes! So you don't get got by them. God, how many, how many of these is gonna take to kill this guy? Come on, them. Are you dead yet? How about now? How about now? How about now? <gasps> now I'm just fucking with it. Run! 
done. <laughs> right, let's do this. Stop it. Game design tip. Don't force Carlos, you your player to have an item, a weapon in their inventory. Don't force your player to have a certain weapon in their inventory if there is a chance that they will not have that item in their inventory. Like, I wouldn't know that I needed the grenade launcher for that fight. Unless they already played that fight before. Okay, I'm just double checking that I'm not leaving anything behind here. Nope. Okay. Because guess what, guys? Nothing bad could possibly happen by going past Nemesis. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You really think that's gonna help you, honey? Rip. <laughs> this can only end well. Or not. Yep. Fuck off, man, Nikolai. You have done me a big favor, Miss. Yep, Jill's infected now. This is, can only end well. Roughly half a day later, she's just been laying there. Jill. So is Nemesis's body now that I think about it. Answer me. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Barr can save her. Alright, I'll meet you there. Yeah, dude. And of course he does this! The worst possible way to carry somebody who's infected. Her mouth is on your neck. <laughs> I mean, we know Jill's going to be fine because this isn't a new game. This is a remake of an old game, so we know how it ends. But that's still not a very good way to carry somebody who's infected, Carlos. <laughs> Given that you did watch, you know, Brad bite Martin. Marvin. Spencer Memorial Hospital. I wonder who paid for the name for this hospital. Fight it, Jill. I'm sure she's fine. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. I need to make a point here. A vaccine would not um, cure you once you're already infected, really. A vaccine is useful before you get infected. Not after you get heavily infected. At that point, you want a cure or an antiretroviral. Not a vaccine. <laughs> but you can't expect okay. these guys to know anything about science. I promise. Oh, oh, we get to use items on here. I use the flashbang. <laughs> no. Um, nothing in here. Okay, this is as far as I've gone. So from here on, we are truly blind. From here on, I have not seen any of this. Don't worry. I can just discard that, actually. Alright. Discard. Okay. So, but that will be all for the next video. My name is Scott Tanager and I've been playing some Resident Evil 3 Remake. I'll see you all in the next video.